Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand a problem on convolution using overlap add method. Here, the impulse response h of n is given along with the input x of n and we need to perform the convolution using overlap add method. In this problem, the block length n is not given. So in the previous problem, the block length was given. So we took the block length and we have solved the problem. So here it is a very important problem where n is not given. So before forming the blocks, we need to find the value of n. The first step is parameter and block formation. Here, as you can observe, the impulse response h of n is given whose length is 2. That's why we can write h of n is having the length m is equal to 2. Since the value of n is not given, we just remember. So from this value, we can find the value of n by taking the formula 2 to the power of m. Since m is equal to 2, we will get n is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is nothing but n is equal to 4. So this is the block length in which the input sequence has to be divided. Now let us find the value of l by taking the formula n is equal to m plus l minus 1. Since we know the value of m and n, so we can find the value of l as 4 is equal to 2 plus l minus 1. So from this, the value of l is equal to 3. So this l specifies from the given input, we need to take three values to form one block and length of that block should be equal to 4. So we can take 1, 2, minus 1 initially. Then to make the length as 4, we can append as zeros. We can write x1 of n that will be equal to, let us take the first three values, 1, 2, minus 1. So we will take 1, 2, minus 1. Along with this, we will append a 0 to make the length of x1 of n as 4. So three values first we will take from the input, then we will form the block which is having the length n is equal to 4. So this is the procedure you need to follow. Similarly, we can write x2 of n by taking the next three values, which is 2, 3, minus 2, 0. Then x3 of n by taking the next three values, which is minus 3, minus 1, 1, and we'll append 0 to make the length as 4. Next, we'll write x4 of n. So that will be equal to by taking the last three values, which is 1, 2 minus 1 then we will append 0 to make the length as 4. So here you need to remember corresponding to x1 of n we will find y1 of n by taking the convolution of x1 of n and h of n. So here we will be performing the circular convolution. So we will find y2 of n correspond to x2 of n by taking the convolution x2 of n with h of n. So, we will find y3 of n by performing circular convolution on x3 of n with h of n and y4 of n will be performed by taking the convolution of x4 of n with h of n. Here, we need to take h of n with the length n is equal to 4. Okay. So, remember this. So, we need to make h of n with the length n is equal to 4. So, we will take h of n which is having the value as 1 and 2. We will append two zeros to make the length of h of n is equal to 4. Now, the next step is to find y1 of n by taking the circular convolution of x1 of n and h of n. So, here we will write the matrix of x1 of n in the circular shift form. So, we will take x1 of n which is having the value 1, 2, minus 1 and 0. We will write that in the first column. In the next column, we will shift 1 to next position. Then we will write 2 here, minus 1 here and the 0 will shift it on the top. So, similarly, you can do for uh, the next two columns also. You can shift 1 to next position, 
then 2, minus 1, then 0, then 1 here, 2, minus 1 and 0. So, this matrix has to be written in the form of circular shift. Now, this matrix has to be multiplied with h of n which is 1, 2, 0 and 0. So, if we multiply these two matrix, we will get the value as 1, 4, 3 and minus 2. So, this procedure has to be followed to find y2 of n, y3 of n and y4 of n. Similarly, we can find y2 of n by writing the matrix of x2 of n in circular shift fashion. So, first column of x2 of n will be 2, 3, minus 2 and 0. And to write the next column, we will shift these values to one position and we will write the matrix x2 of n. So, this matrix is multiplied with h of n and we will get the values as 2, 7, 4 and minus 4. Now, to find y3 of n, you can write the matrix x3 of n in circular shift form and that is multiplied with h of n to get the values minus 3, minus 7, minus 1 and 2. And finally, we can find y4 of n by taking the matrix of x4 of n written in circular shift form that is multiplied with h of n and we will get the value as 1, 4, 3 and minus 2. Once you find y1 of n, y2 of n, y3 of n and y4 of n, we need to go to next step where we need to perform addition of overlap part. So, in this step, first we need to write y1 of n which is 1, 4, 3 and minus 2. Since the length L is equal to 3, after 3 values, we need to write y2 of n, which is 2, 7, 4, minus 4. So, after third value of y2 of n, we need to write y3 of n just below y2 of n. So, which is minus 3, minus 7, minus 1 and 2. Similarly, after third value, you need to write y4 of n just below y3 of n, which is 1, 4, 3 and minus 2. As you can see here, these values are overlapped and we are adding this. That's why it is known as overlap add method. So, we can add all these values. So, 1, 4, 3, minus 2, plus 2, which is 0, 7, 4, minus 4, minus 3, which is minus 7, minus 7, minus 1, 2 plus 1, which is 3, 4, 3 and minus 2. So, this is the value of y of n which is the convolution of h of n and x of n. So, this problem is similar to the previous problem. Only thing you need to remember is the value of n is not given in this problem. So, if the value of n is not given, you remember the formula n is equal to 2 to the power of m. So, once you find the value of m, you can find the value of n. Then you can find the value of L and the procedure is same as how we have done for the previous problem. This is about the problem on convolution using overlap add method. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.